Hello everyone. In this Hilding Shorts, I am going to tell you about fat embolism, which means pulmonary embolization of fat globules. So how it will be having pulmonary embolization? It can be because of three reasons. Either there is a long bone fractures or maybe due to the burns or maybe because of the soft tissue trauma. In this, what you will find, so this is a syndrome and you will find one to three days of incubation period between the symptom and the history. So for example, there is a long bone fracture. So after long bone fracture, fat globules will be coming into the circulation and then one to three days of time will happen. And after that, they will have three characteristic features. One is hypoxia. Second, they will have neurological abnormalities like a headache, seizure or any neurological alterations and on a skin you will find petechial rashes, right? So hypoxia, neurological abnormalities, petechial rashes after one to three days and where you will find them, usually it is seen in less than 10% of the cases and another important thing, they are fatal in only 10%. So this is 10% rule, seen in 10% of the cases, fatal in 10%, right? So as I said, after the injury, after one to three days, you will find petechial rash, neurological symptoms, you will find thrombocytopenia and anemia because of the fat cells are damaging the bone marrow rbc uh, they are going to damage our peripheral blood rbc and platelets so in this pathogenesis injury will cause mechanical obstruction mechanical obstruction by putting fat platelet rbc together or maybe because of the fatty acid release from the fat cells which will be causing endothelial damage and how we will identify them on histopathology whenever you will see fat embolism first you will notice blood vessels so you can see there is a there is a lumen containing rbc lumen containing rbc so these are rbc so this is a blood vessel right and in this blood vessel you are seeing there are so many empty looking cells these are all fat cells which came from the bone marrow so how we will say that it is a fat cells coming from the bone marrow you may observe some of the bone marrow cells also along with them so this is how fat cells within the blood vessels along with the bone marrow cells and a history of the you know fracture or injury or burns will be suggestive of the fat embolism. So keep revising best wishes.